Good evening and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be looking at connection of solar panels in series parallel. Taking you through this lecture is engineer Ibinoba Charles, lecturer, Federal University of Petroleum Resources, EFRO, Delta State. Why series parallel connection? Depending on your system requirement and design, panels can be connected in series parallel. They can also be connected in series and they can also be connected in parallel and they can also be connected in parallel series. But today we'll be looking at series parallel connection. So if you look at my previous video, we have looked at connection of panels in series and also we have looked at connection of panels in parallel. Today we'll be looking at connection of panels in series parallel. Panels are usually connected in series par parallel to do two basic things. One, in order to increase your voltage level and also to increase your current level. So if you are doing a design and you wish to increase your voltage level and also to increase your current level, the best thing you need to do is to connect those panels in series. Then after doing that, you now connect them in parallel. So the question is, how are panels wired in series parallel? So we give this example, we give this explanation using this example. So here we have four different solar panels. We have panel one, panel two, panel three, panel four. So you can see here, these two panels, they are connected in series. So we have the first panel here, we have panel one, see the negative is left, while the positive of the first panel is connected to the negative of the second panel. Again, we leave the positive of the second panel. So these two panels, one and two, they are connected in series. Again, these two panels, again, the negative of this one, we leave it, connect the positive of this one to the negative of this one, then the positive of this one again, we leave it. So these two panels are again connected in series. So we have one set of panels connected in series, and we have another set of panels connected in series. So we have two sets of panels here that are connected in series. So by the time you join this positive of this first set to the positive of the second set, that means these two panels are now connected in parallel. If you connect the negative of the first set to the negative of the second set, that means these two panels are now connected in parallel. So that is why it is referred to as you first of all connect the panels in series and then the total arrangement you connect each of them in parallel. So that is what we refer to as series parallel connection. So the question now is after connecting panels in series parallel, how do we know the total voltage, the total current? and the total power that is generated from that panel. We are going to use this example to calculate the total voltage, total current, and total power that is produced by panels connected in series parallel. So let us assume that each panel have the same parameter. So we have panel 1 is rated 12 volts 5 amps, panel 2 is rated 12 volts 5 amps, panel 3 is rated 12 volts 5 amps, and panel 4 is rated 12 volts 5 amps. And like you can see, one set here is connected in series, and another set here is connected in series. So we we'll first of all connect one set in series 
for us to know the total voltage and the total current it will give to us. So this is one set. Like you can see, the negative is hanging. The positive of this one is connected to the negative of this one. Then the positive here is hanging. So these two panels, again, they are connected in series. So when panels are connected in series, the total voltage is equal to the summation of all the voltages of each of the panels. So here, our total voltage is equal to V total is equal to V1 plus V2. So we have 12 volts plus 12 volts. That will equal to 24 volts. Then our total current is IT is equal to I1 is equal to I2, which is equal to 5 amps. So the total current of a series connection is equal to the ampere rating of one of the panel. So you can have 30 panels depending on the number of panels. Once all the panels are having the same current rating, then the total current is equal to the current rating of one of the panels. But if any of the panel is having the different current, the procedure is usually different. You can refer to my video of connection of panels in series and you will see how to handle such case. But for this particular case, since all the panels are having the same current rating, the total current IT is equal to the current of one of the panels. So the total voltage for this arrangement is equal to 24 volts and the total current for this arrangement is equal to 5 amps. So again, for the second set, the process is the same. Since all the panels are having the same parameters. So the total voltage, Vt is equal to V1 plus V2 is equal to 12 plus 12, which equals to 24 volts. Then the total current again is equal to the current rating of one of the panels since all the panels have the same current rating. So now we have done the connection for the first set in series, giving us 24 volts, 5 amps. And we have done it for the second set, giving us 24 volts, 5 amps. Then if we now connect all these panels, these two panels in parallel, what is the arrangement going to give to us? Remember, when connecting panels in parallel, the reason is for us to increase our current while maintaining our voltage. So now you can see this first set, the total voltage is 24 volts, 5 amps, and this second set is 25 volts, 24 volts, 5 amps. So our total current, Vt, is equal to V1 is equal to V2, which is equal to 24 volts. Then our total current is the summation of the current rating of each of the series set. So this series set 5 amps plus this series set 5 amps. So our total current is 10 amps. So our total power for this arrangement is Pt is equal to I total times V total, which is equal to 10 times 24 which is equal to 240 watts. So you can see, when panels are connected in series parallel, the aim is to actually to increase both your voltage and your current. Compared to when you are connecting panels in series, it's only to increase voltage, leave your current constants, and when you connect only in parallel, is to increase your current and leave your voltage constant. But in this case, you increase both your voltage and you increase both your current. That is the basic reason why panels are connected in series parallel. So you can try this particular example. You have to design a solar panel PV array of 48 volts, 960 watts. If the solar panels available in the store are rated 12 volts, 5 amps, how many sets of panels will be connected in series? How many panels will be needed for the PV array? And what will be the total current from the PV array? So you can try this question and leave your answer 
in the comment section if you find this video very interesting i want you to like this video and share this video with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching and stay tuned for more video on interesting lectures series thank you